Hello guys and welcome back. In this lesson we are going to learn how to access elements in an array list. You do that using the get method and I will demonstrate that in just a moment. Before I start the lesson, if you didn't subscribe to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for more updates. First of all, let's go back over how to create an array list and how to add elements into it. So we start out with array list followed by the data type. We will work with the numbers still. Then we call the constructor for the array list with the data type and open and close parentheses. Then we will write a for loop. And let's go i less than 11. So we are going to put the numbers 1 to 10 into this array list. Increment i by 1. Then you write numbers dot add sub i or add i to add each i value to the array list. Then if you want to access these elements, we will use another for loop. Let's say we want to determine in the total what we can do that by first creating a variable total initialize it with zero then we can write another loop the loop will run one less than the size of the array list the size of numbers starting at zero total plus equal numbers dot get i the elements of an array list are ordered starting at position 0. So by calling get with the for loop running from 0 through less than the size, we are going to pull each element out of the array list in order starting at position 0 to the last element in the array list. Get simply returns the element that stored at position i, whatever that is. Now we are we can display the total and let's save and then compile and run the program and then run it and the total should be 55 and it is so if I want to display for example first or last elements so I could write system out print line first element plus numbers dot get zero and we can write system out print line last element plus numbers dot get and here i'm going to do a little computing we have to do numbers dot size minus one like so you can see directly you are not supposed to know how many elements are in the array list that's one of the main features of an array list that you don't have to know the size the total number of elements in the array list you have the size method to tell us how big the array list is and then we can use arithmetic from that numbers dot size minus one to get at the very last element let's see how that works save it clear the screen compile it again and then run the first element is 1 and the last element is 10. So accessing the elements of an array list is involves calling the get method with a position sometimes calling index position of the element you want to get always starting at position 0 through 1 minus size. 
or the size minus 1 and that's all the ways to accessing the elements of an array list. In the next lesson, we are going to talk about how to pass array list to methods because a lot of time you want to pass array list to a method in order to modify the elements of an array list in some way. See you guys in the next lesson. Bye.